everyone, it's Brittany. Today I decided that I'm going to take part in three different Draw This In Your Style challenges hosted over on Instagram. The first one that I'm doing is hosted by artist Lily Oom Art. Um, I really, really love the original piece that she has here. The clouds look so soft and fluffy. The face is very serene and peaceful. And I thought that this was a perfect piece for me to try and draw in my style. So I wanted to go ahead and do this challenge starting off with this piece here. So I'm going in now and just doing my base colors on one layer underneath the sketch. I'm using Ross Draw's soft paintbrush. You can buy it from his brush pack. And then I went ahead and changed the uh, background color to a darker blue gray color so that I could see just a little bit better. Just laying down basic colors of the clouds as well. I uh, clipped a dark purple color to the sketch layer and turned the sketch layer into uh, hard light. And then that allows me to be able to blend the sketch layer into my drawing. So now I'm on a layer on top of my drawing and I begin my rendering process. So. I'm uh, going in now and just refining the details of the face and um, starting the coloring process as I go. And uh, my drawing process is essentially a clean up as I go kind of process. It's um, quite messy to start, um, but as I go, I begin erasing the details I don't need, cleaning up things that are um, kind of out of place and I just use color picking to refine details as I go. So that's essentially how I render specifically. Um, I do have a full tutorial on my process on my channel if you would like to watch it, it's linked down below. I went ahead and added a color dodge layer behind the character to do that little aura that's popping up behind the character. Um, I. I couldn't get it exactly right, but I, I think it's still cute. After all, it is in my style. Um, so here I'm just refining the details of the hand, and then I'm going in with the dry ink brush, which is a default Procreate brush, and refining smaller details within the piece, such as some uh, highlights, uh, hair strands, and some uh, sharper angles that need more definition. And then I'm going in and uh, refining some of the clouds and getting those kind of cleaned up as well. This was honestly a really, really fun, relaxing drawing for me to do. I really love the, the serene aesthetic of the original piece. I did leave out the little characters um, just because I... I personally don't really like drawing little characters like that, so I just went ahead and left them out. But, um... I still feel like it uh, matches the overall aesthetic of the piece of this um, Draw This In Your Style challenge. So I do hope it's okay that I left them out. Um, it's just, you know, my, my personal take on it. I just wanted to leave them out. I went ahead and added like a little galaxy strip and then decided to go ahead and do the stars. And then um, kind of refine the details of that little aura behind the character and um, begin my final editing process. So to do my final editing on all of my pieces, I like to do curve effect and chromatic aberration. So I merge everything together and then I select the face and then invert the selection and feather it so the face is excluded and then go ahead and add my chromatic aberration effect to the piece. Um, and then now I'm going in and doing my curve effect to help uh, kind of make some of the colors stand out a little bit more. And then I stamp on my signature. This is the final piece compared to the Draw This In Your Style Challenge original. I really, really love how this one turned out. Um, the Draw This In Your Style original piece done by uh, Lilium was inspiring for me. And I can't wait to do the next one. The next drawing that I decided to do was by Hey Mary Jean over on Instagram. I felt like this character's design fit my aesthetic of what I like to draw specifically quite nicely um, and that she would be a lot of fun for me to uh, draw. I really like her outfit. I think it's very, very cute. Um, and if you know me as of late, I've been drawing a lot of women in crop tops, um, so I've been just kind of enjoying that you know so it's just been a lot of fun regarding those types of outfits so I figured that this would be an easy one for me to uh, feel inspired by and I was 
I would say my um, favorite part would have to be the hair. I did go ahead and change the pose um, just to give her more of a, a different pose that was it within like my style and how I would draw her. Um, and then I uh, decided to do the top by doing an overlay layer and then like slightly blending it on the edges and then going back over it with a white uh, brush to kind of refine the details of the top. I will say though that the top is not my favorite part of the piece. Um, the the see-through top, I'm, I'm not really happy with how I ended up doing it. Um, but I am quite happy with how I end up portraying the hair. Uh, I think that the hair is the strongest part of the piece overall uh, in the end, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this one. So here I'm just working on um, rendering out the details. I'm uh, cleaning up the eyes, making those a little bit better, um, getting the uh, outline for the hair ready so that I can start rendering the hair out and then um, working on uh, getting the, the eyes looking all pretty. I realize now that I kind of give her Dumbo ears. <laughs> um, I have a hard time with drawing ears. I make them very large. So bear with me here. The ears do not get better in this piece, but um, I'm pretty pleased in the end with how she ends up turning out. I think she's very cute. I like her septum ring and her little white speckle freckles. Um, I think they help kind of give her more character. Uh, if you look on the original piece, she does have like some white little freckles all over her face and I just think that they're very cute. And then um, I decided to give her white pupils because that's kind of my stylistic thing. Uh, I like to give characters white pupils. Um, although I am trying to find other ways to draw eyes, I just feel like my eyes are a little boring these days, so perhaps I will start kind of exploring different styles. And then I drew in the hand, and then now I started to kind of clean up the rest of the piece, um, just to kind of add more refined details around the rest of the body and um, start working on the hair. As I mentioned, the hair is my favorite part of the piece. Um, I really like how it ended up turning out. It's very glowy and very pretty in the end, um, and I'm just super pleased with it. I really like how the pleated skirt, not pleated skirt, but the plaid skirt, checkered skirt, checkered skirt, ended up turning out. Um, I'm just very happy with that as well. And then uh, I remembered to do the star chain, and then I added a little bit of an overlay layer on the hair just to make it more glowy. And this is the final piece. Um, I'm very, very happy with how this one turned out. I think she's very cute. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This last one was hosted by Riku Art over on Instagram. I wanted to play around. Um, I originally thought I was going to do a different pose, but I really like the original pose that the character was in. So I decided to keep the pose the way that it was. I fell in love with the character design on this one. It's something that I'm not particularly used to drawing. Um, the grayish skin tone is not something that I'm particularly used to doing as well. So um, I had a lot of fun with this one. I wanted to go for more of a, a loose approach with the painting style on this one. So I uh, kept some parts pretty loose. Um, I didn't really tighten up the rendering on this. I went in a lot with the um, dry ink brush and uh, did some sharp angles. Now there's going to be a, some parts where this recording pauses a little bit. I started to doze off while I was drawing this piece uh, because I got up quite early this morning. So uh, bear with me here if there's some pauses, but um, overall I had a lot of fun working on this one. It was very exploratory for me. Um, gave me a chance to uh, put a more sinister approach into my art and um, play around with some darker themes and darker colors. So I really appreciate this character design and how incredibly unique it is. Um, I just I just love the design. I love the character. I had a ton of fun with this particular piece. As I mentioned, um, it was just uh, something that I hadn't really drawn before like this um 
and it, it really gave me a chance to get out of my comfort zone. So uh, here I am just doing my uh, finishing touches, the chromatic aberration, and this is the final piece. Um, I'm quite happy with it. And here are all three of the pieces that I did today. Which one is your favorite? I particularly really like the last piece that I did, the middle one, um, but I do really like the cloud picture. Um, I just really like the fluffiness of the clouds. If you are a fan of these types of videos and you want to see more, I invite you to subscribe. My name is Brittany. I'm an artist and I make videos about art. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, let me know, let me know down below which one is your favorite and if there's any other art challenges or anything else that I should do next. Thank you. Bye-bye.